Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share with you an unboxing and first look and a little bit of comparison with the CRKT Pillar number 3. Finally I got my hands on one of these and uh, yeah let's start. So the model number is the 5317D2. So obviously this is the more expensive version because these will come in two versions one with your D2 blade stone washed uh, with uh, this brass stone or backspacer and the regular little bit cheaper will come with your standard HCR 13 MOV uh, blade so and uh, yes it has been a while uh, since I firstly saw uh, this design from the master Jasper Waxnase and uh, yeah, his customs are incredibly nice beautifully made and uh, uh, we are living such a gr great times when we have uh, the opportunity to get something like this at budget pricing okay so let me start with the specifications like i always do so we have an overall length of 18.2 centimeters or 7.1 inch the blade length is 7.6 centimeters or 3 inches the blade width is 2.8 centimeters 1.1 inch the um, blade thickness is 3.6 millimeters or 0 0.14 inches the cutting edge is 7 centimeters or 2.7 inches handle length is 10.8 centimeters or 4.2 inches and the thickness without the pocket clip is 1 centimeter or 0 0.4 inches this version like i mentioned has a stone washed d2 blade with a beautiful spear point and so finger opening cut out or milled out portion like Strider does. We have a brass a stone washed backspacer, partial backspacer. The handle is made out of stainless steel and G10 with a deep carry uh, pocket clip with a medium attention. The frame lock on this one features also a old travel stop. You can see right there where there is uh, this screw here. So another great uh, feature they have incorporated. And uh, we have uh, the pivot assembly uses a KVT ball bearing uh, washer. There, there is the logo. And if you didn't know that uh, Pillar, the name of the uh, knife comes from Ernest Hemingway's uh, boat. We have a really large lanyard hole at the back portion of the knife. And I must say with the double uh, choil here, uh, this knife fits perfectly in, in the XL size hand. Even this is a knife that is under um, 8 inches, so it has 7.1 or 18.2. So excellent EDC uh, design okay so the weight comes at 107.8 grams or 3.8 ounces so now I mentioned this is the number three maybe you know maybe you don't there were previous two iterations so uh, let me start uh, with the OG, so the original Pillar 1. And uh, firstly, let's talk about uh, the, the design. So even at this small package, the Pillar 1 is a really excellent uh, all-around EDC uh, cutter. I would like to have a wire clip on this one or a deep carry pocket clip but uh, nevertheless this is uh, perfectly fine but that is probably only thing that I would change on the design uh, I was really uh, really surprised when they came out uh, with the model 2 because the model 2 has a flipper incorporated basically a little bit larger pillar one
Okay, so a little bit larger and it has uh, a flipper. Same, uh, same design, same pocket clip and so on. But then, then there is the number three. So the number three has a probably, uh, as I would say, a huge departure from the blade design because as you can see there, you have a spear point uh, and uh, previous two were, uh, were a ship's foot design. So I don't know uh, why Jasper did uh, change out the um, the blade profile. Probably it has something to do with uh, his custom. I uh, don't uh, I remember uh, what is the name of uh, the custom, but he has a similar design to this one uh, with his custom knife. So he's a custom knife and of course, and he's also uh, one of the founder of the giant mouse. So uh, let me put into the picture also the Ace Grant. So uh, with yeah. Okay, so uh, let's put down the Ace Grant and let me show you a few other designs from Jasper Boxing. So this is the Amicus. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Amicus, yes. Let me go uh, this way. So I put these two down here. So Amicus is uh, slightly uh, bulkier, but uh, has some uh, similarities. But if you would probably search around, you will also find the Pete uh, that is also Jasper Boxnake design. I just checked <laughs> to be completely. Uh, Right, so I would say that uh, the pillar three is probably something like a larger uh, peat. Also has uh, deep carry pocket clip, spear point blade, and uh, a little similar to the hole opening something between the round hole and the wider oval hole. So uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, why he called it pillar three? Maybe uh, he just wanted to have a, a third iteration of the pillar. But for me personally, I would say that is a something like pit two, or pit large, or pit medium. And I'm because it's just for uh, the size comparisons here. So and uh, the original uh, Amicus was a full stainless steel version with uh, with also a uh, drop point blade but i had the g10 version with the tenton you can also see the similarities yeah. so just a little bit of, of conversation going on so now uh, let's continue with uh with the pillar series so if you're looking uh, uh, to have something from Jasper Boxnays and don't want to go the route of the Ace products, which uh, they are a uh, whole bunch of them right now, you can go with uh, the Reef, the Biblio, and also with the Grand. So you have all three uh, sizes available, but you want to uh, buy yourself something really nice at the budget. So. Now let's talk about the pricing, okay? So pricing uh, looks uh, as follows. The MSRP of the of the D2 variant or D2 uh, D2 blade is seventy nine dollars ninety nine cents, and the HCR thirteen MOV version is fifty nine ninety nine. So uh, yes, uh, you probably will not expect to pay uh, full MSRP pricing. So uh, you should check your favorite reseller, and you could go as low as uh, fifty-two dollars for the D two and uh, thirty-nine 
for the ATR than MOV, which is a much better uh, price point if you ask me, but uh, you know it by yourself. So if you are considering this knife costing around uh, $52, then I would say it is a really great uh, purchase. Given the, the pedigree, the heritage, it comes with the design, uh, materials used, but if you don't want uh, to pay uh, this amount, you can go with the HCR 13 MOV. For most uh, EDC tasks, uh, that uh, version will be more than sufficient. Yes, you will have to uh, maybe sharpen it a little bit often than the D2, but then of course it is up to you uh, which finish you prefer. I got uh, the D2 mostly because I really uh, like to have a stone wash on my blades. It is just a uh, superior blade finish for the DC tasks because it will not smudge that often and of course it will be much uh, have a much higher corrosion resistance than your satin or uh, bleed blasted finishes that are some on some blades. So action this one is great. I could be uh, I could be happier, yes, I could be happier if this one would have a nice uh, micarta scale. If you uh, know my channel, you know that uh, this year I dedicated to to get uh, mostly knives with micarta, but I had to get the, uh, the pillar free as soon as possible just to complete my collection of pillars, of course. And yes, uh, what to say more about this knife? Uh, I really appreciate uh, that we have an opportunity from CRKT uh, that this uh, collaboration with Jasper Voxness exists because, uh, let's face it, uh, most uh, uh, higher end um, custom knife makers uh, do focus on their own work. They do not uh, collaborate uh, uh, with, uh, with production companies. Uh, sometimes they will do uh, mid techs or mid tech runs with uh, some OEM, higher end OEM manufacturers like let's say V or Riyadh, and they will produce their own mid tech line that then, on the other hand, will cost around 400 to 500 dollars. That is still a really good price point if you're considering that the custom from Jasper Voxnex will cost you from around uh, 1200 to, to 2000 dollars. Yeah, so yeah, you definitely will save, but uh, in my opinion, if I can get a really nice production uh, made, production made uh, custom design, then uh, more people uh, will have the opportunity to check it out, to maybe fall in love with it, and uh, then maybe down the road, if they save up money or if they want to go higher up, then they will uh, maybe. Uh, search for the mid text like uh, certainly I did and I could be not more happy with this one because it's one of my favorite uh, EDC knives, the Ace Grant, which in my opinion is uh, a beautiful product. It is a fusion between Jens Anson and Jesper Voxne, so both these great uh, custom knife maker did put their minds together and produced a brand and yes. Okay, but let us continue with the last part of this video, and that is a uh, few size comparisons before I lose all my daylight. So let's uh, start with, here's the CVV Elementum, should be probably the same price point. Then I have here the QSP Pelican, also a great option. If you are searching for something even uh, less expensive, at around thirty-five, forty dollars, uh, here is also in the same ballpark the Kaiser Maglite Two, Kubieris, Buck uh, Sprint Pro. This will be some, probably a little bit more expensive, but almost a double or triple. Depends on your purchase. So here is the Kershaw Leak, here is the 
small Gretillion from Benchmate. Red Model 2, all excellent knives. Spiderco Delica. Bug Vintage uh, Select Small. Here's a full size uh, Bug Select Avid. And uh, let's do two more. Or three more. Here is the Kershaw Shuffle 2. Kaiser Pinch. And Let's close it down with a really nice underrated knife that is the K-Bar Dozier Folding Hunter. Okay, so this was uh, the first look and unboxing of the CRKT uh, Pilar 3. Uh, I'm really happy with it. I hope uh, this video uh, could bring you a few points uh, on whether you should uh, buy it or not. Uh, I would say uh, I do recommend this one. If you are a fan of uh, Jasper Voxnays and uh, CRKT overall, then uh, this is probably something you should buy. And if you have the money, then uh, it is also a great gift if you would like to give this to somebody. probably forgot to show you the pocket profile sorry about that so uh, this is how much it will stick out in the pocket it will go inside very easily so uh, it should not damage your uh, pocket which is always good to have on an EDC uh, knife Okay, but that being said, I would like to thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. If you are a subscriber, big thumbs up to you. If you are not, then please consider subscribing to not miss any future videos. I try to produce at least three videos uh, per week, mostly knife and gear oriented, but sometimes that's other stuff as the time uh, um, makes me makes me possible to do them, okay? With that being said, I would like to wish you a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon. Stay safe and have a nice day. Bye.